There is a model that has been designed about how to get a gov the size of the government smaller. You know that at the beginning of President Akufado's government, he came under criticism for uh, putting up a large government, a large government of, as it turned out, 120 ministers. And many people felt that the executive in Ghana, a small country, ought not to be as big as the size. I remember in those days, the president gave a particularly convincing interview to Ghana Broadcasting Corporation, the state's broadcaster, and explained the purpose of, of what he had done. Coming around to the election and up till now, there's a group of people who are designing for now and the future for government of Ghana to have a small executive that they can do 5 to 52 ministries. So I'm going to put that, I'm going to take you through um, how they do it. Now, they model it according to the ministries that Akufado had in his first term. And they're making this recommendation for his second term that you can run a Ghana with 52 ministries. If that works, it will be the smallest number of ministries since the beginning of the Fourth Republic. 52 will be the smallest number. Now, let's, let's go to the touch screen and see their model. So we start with Ministry of Defense. Now, Ministry of Defense doesn't have any additions they are making to it. They think that it should stay as that. It has one deputy minister. And I believe that um, uh, Mr. Nitiwul, Dominic Nitiwul, the MP for Bimbela, will continue to be the Minister of Defense. Okay, let's move on. Model of Ghana Government 52 Ministry. So, Ministry of Education, Science and Technology. So, this is one of the changes they are making. They are saying, Ministry of Education, Science and Technology. Only one deputy to be in charge of tertiary and vets. Okay, which is uh, the uh, vocational training. So, they want the Ministry of Education to, be in to include Ministry of Science and Technology. So, Education, Science and Technology, only one deputy. Education is currently held by uh, uh, Mr. Matthew Poku Prempe, the minister over there. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen, whether he still wants to be there. But this is one of the uh, new things they are bringing in. Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, only one deputy. Let's move on. This one is Ministry of Energy and Petroleum. Remains like that. Ministry of Energy and Petroleum, they say one deputy. Then we move on. This is um, Ministry of Environment Sanitation. So they say instead of having Ministry of sanitation and water agency okay so ministry of environment and sanitation and then you have sanitation and water agency not a ministry agency under the ministry so for instance under the ministry of communication where you have the national communication authority so under the ministry of environment and sanitation you have a sanitation and water agency the agency situation allows you to bring in the direct experts to work on it so so that that works ministry of environment and sanitation and then you have Sanitation and Water Agency. Currently, the Minister of Science and Environment is Professor Frimpon Boatim. Minister of Sanitation is Cecilia Dapa. So you sort of put them together. Okay, let's move on. Ministry of Finance. Now, that's one of the big ones where they are asking for a lot of changes to occur. Ministry of Finance is usually Ministry of Finance and Economic Planning. Okay, so Planning Agency and the Ministry of Finance, Procurement Agency and the Ministry of Finance, Evaluation Agency and the Ministry of Finance. So you would have brought under the new Ministry of Finance one, two, three uh, agencies that used to be ministries as well. So you have saved three ministries. Agency for Planning, Agency for Procurement, and Agency for Evaluation. Currently, Professor Jan Bafo is the Minister for Planning. Uh, procurement is Madame Ajoa Safo is Minister for Procurement. And then you have uh, Evaluation Ministry, which is uh, Antonio Kotuose. Now, the model is saying that put all under finance, Ministry of Finance, Ministry of, Pl Ministry of Finance, Planning Agency, Procurement Agency, Evaluation Agency. Let's see what happens uh, after, after finance. Okay, Ministry of Food and Agriculture. And they are saying that have only one deputy to be in charge of fisheries and aquaculture. So this is the big ministry that had, I think, six deputies or so and are planting for food and jobs. The new model is saying that have Ministry of Food and Agriculture and have one deputy who is in charge of fisheries and aquaculture. There used to be a Ministry of Fisheries, uh, which was handled by uh, the Nungwa MP, uh, Madame Afolekwe. So that ministry is now going to be handled by one deputy under the Food, food, food and Agriculture, one minister. Uh, I believe that uh, the Honorable Usu Efriya Koto would like to continue the good work he's done for planting for food and jobs and uh, give him one deputy aquaculture. Okay. We move on. Ministry of Foreign Affairs. You have one Ministry of Foreign Affairs that's dealing with all of that. Okay, then we move on. Ministry of Health, Social Protection, and Social Welfare. That's also another interesting one. So under Ministry of Health, you are going to take Social Protection and Social Welfare. 
And then, you know, you used to have Ministry of Gender and Social Protection. So Ministry of Health, have included in the Ministry of Health, Social Protection and Social Welfare. And then underneath it have Gender Children Social Welfare Agency. Have an agency that is doing gender, children, and social welfare. And just have one ministry. We are racing up to 52, 52 ministries in Ghana. And it's a model that has been proposed to the Akufuado administration for the second term and for the future of the country to keep the size of our government smaller and manageable. Ministry of Housing, Lands and Natural Resources. That's a very important one because now Ministry of Works and Housing is one and Ministry of Lands is another and Lands is with natural resources. But housing and land sort of works together. So the idea here is that put Ministry of Housing lands and natural resources together for one ministry. Do that. Put it together for one ministry. Let it be just one ministry instead of two ministries. Let's move on. Ministry of Information and Communication. This is something that was done by John Dramani Mahama. Actually, it had been done by uh, the second administration of Fly Lieutenant Rollins, which is 96 to 2000. Ambassador Ecospio Gabra, who came in, became the Minister for Communication, and it's included information. He had two deputies. And... Uh, when John Mahama was president between 2013 and 16, you remember Dr. Omani Buama was the minister for communication, which included information, and one of the deputies did that. So there's a strong proposal to go back to that place where you have the combination of the Ministry of Information and Ministry of Communication. Now, Ministry of Information basically is the is a Information Services Department of the government. They are information. Communication is telecoms and media and television licenses and that kind of thing. National Media Commission comes under Ministry of Information, and then the National Communication Authority comes under Ministry of Communication. So if you put them together, all their agencies follow up. So this is one of the models being proposed to get us to 52 ministries. Okay. Uh, yeah, Ministry of Interior and National Security. That's another interesting one. Currently, we have a, a Ministry of National Security, which is managed by Albert Kandapa, and then we have a Ministry of Interior, which is managed by the Honorable Ambrose Derry. Here, they are asking for Ministry of Interior and National Security. Okay, Ministry of Justice and the Attorney General uh, is another ministry that you keep, you have it there, you keep one deputy there. Uh, I don't know whether here they are proposing no deputy at all because they don't write it to the model. But Ministry of Justice and the Attorney General. We are racing to 52 government ministries. Later on, I'll come back to uh, Ministry of Labor. is also important. That's also kept here as one ministry. And then there's Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development. And so that's, that's a very important um, um, amendment that is being proposed. So you have Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development. Then underneath it, you have Special Initiatives Agency, which is the Hawa Kumsin Special Initiatives Ministry. You have Zongo Development Agency, which is currently another ministry. And then you have Chieftaincy and Religious Affairs Commission, which is currently another ministry. So you have one, two, three ministries, uh, four ministries collapsed into one ministry so that you can reduce the size of the government. So this is a very important uh, suggestion, proposal. Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development. So that's ministry. And I need the ministry, special initiatives agency, Zongo Development Agency, Chieftaincy, and Religious Affairs Commission. So there's Ministry of Tourism and Creative Arts. And, and truly, I'd always thought that this should go together. Ministry of Tourism and Creative Arts, they, sh they should go together. Somehow, it doesn't go together. There's a Ministry of Tourism and there's a Ministry of Creative Arts. So the proposal is to put them together, Ministry of Tourism and Creative Arts. Uh, Ministry of Trade and Industry, and underneath it, you should have the Ministry of Business Development uh, as an agency. Currently, there's a Ministry of Business Development, and there's Ministry of Trade and Industry. So the suggestion is that put them together, have Ministry of Trade and Industry and uh, Business Development Agency together. I believe that Honorable Alache Martin is going to be the Minister for Trade. Then you have Ministry of Transport and Roads. That's another important addition. Currently, we have the Ministry of Roads. That's separate from the Ministry of Transport. That's also separate. Then we have Ministry of Aviation. And then we have Ministry of Railway. That's all separate. So the suggestion here is that give it Ministry of Transport and Roads, one ministry. Underneath that one ministry, you have Aviation Agency, an agency for aviation, and then you have an agency for railway, but the Minister of Roads and Transport controls that sector. That also, I think, is very important. The race to 52 ministries uh, for the government of Ghana for now and the future. And then finally, you have Ministry of Youth and Sports. 
So uh, that's the last one, Ministry of Youth and Sports, put them together. Now, the suggestion is that if you do it this way and you, you stick to regional ministers without deputies, so you're going to have 16 regions and you're not going to have deputies, and you put all that together, you're going to arrive at 52 ministers. This proposal is being given to President Akufuado for his second term and for the future of Ghana. We just presented it to you. It's open on Facebook. You can give us your comments. What do you think about this list? We're going to have 52 ministries. It will be the lowest in the history of the Fourth Republic. We're coming from one, over 120 to 52. That will be a good day for Ghana because the size of our executive shouldn't be too large.